today is our first full day here. Uh, we got in yesterday super early. I spent the entire day kind of recovering. We did a little bit of exploring. Today is a technically a rest day for me. It's not a work day, but I'm deciding to tag along with Jose for at least the first bit of his walk. He wants to just walk around and explore. I want to get my nails done. I want to get a hair wash, massage. Give you guys an Airbnb tour a little bit later. I've cleaned up the place because we literally, it's been not even 24 hours and it's a mess. The weather is great here. It's not cold, it's not hot, it's not humid. It's a little foggy or maybe it's smoggy, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let's get started on the journey and see where today takes us. Found a little cafe on our way to our first stop and decided to get some coffee. I ordered the coffee Saigon and Jose got, or I ordered for Jose, the iced coffee with condensed milk. I am a new woman. I got my nails done. You can see it. I got my toes done. I got a manicure, pedicure, and I got the most amazing shampoo, head massage, blow dry, and all of that cost me before tip. It was like $13. I'll probably come here every day. <laughs> if I could, I would. If you are in Hanoi and you're staying by the French Quarter, I mean, obviously there's like a ton of different spas you can go to. This one I randomly found. I actually found a couple of their nail salons, but this one is nice because it's a like combination, spa, nails, all of that. Definitely go to the Orient. I think the prices are super good. The girls are super sweet. The quality of their work is good as well too. So I want to come back. So Jose left on a walk and I'm going to just stroll around by myself. I'm going to try to find some lunch and then head back to our Airbnb and try to get some work done. I'm taking advantage of this solo day where Jose's not here to eat some Vietnamese vegetarian food, which I'm really excited about. I found this restaurant, it's like a block away from where I got my uh, nails, nails done, my nails did. So I just finished up my lunch and it actually wasn't what I thought it was going to be. I wanted like vegetarian spring rolls, like Vietnamese. I don't know, the filling was different. This was like vegetarian, but it was just like tofu and some vegetables and I was looking for like another type. It's all good. I ate it all anyway, it was fine. I think I still have space for a second meal. I'm gonna keep strolling around. Well, I found my next meal. I'm ordering a chicken sandwich, chicken bun mi. I got my bun mi, and this will be a snack for later. I was just wandering around the neighborhood and I stumbled across St. Joseph's Church. I have my drink that I got from the super cute bookstore slash flower shop, flower shop, flower, flower shop slash cafe. But I'm not quite hungry enough yet to eat everything. I just, this is what happens when I'm on my own. I just spend money. So I'm gonna enjoy the cathedral and uh, eventually I'll make my way back. I, I really gotta, gotta go get back to work. Here is that strawberry espresso drink that I got from Hip Hub. Also because it's International Women's Week, free toppings.
just made it back to the Airbnb. Broke a little sweat because it was starting to get warm, but the weather has been way better than I expected. I wanna give you guys uh, a tour of our Airbnb now. Usually I like to do this when we first arrive, when everything's fresh and clean and organized, but yesterday we literally had no sleep, took a red eye flight from Kuala Lumpur into Hanoi, so I just freshened up the place a little bit. Well, I did some laundry this morning, so that's why we have some things that are hanging. But you enter in here, there's a place for your shoes, they provide slippers, which is nice. And here's the kitchen. This is gonna be my little work area. We went to the market yesterday and stocked up on some snacks. Lots of fun flavors like nori seaweed, Brazilian barbecue pork rib. Here's a little, it's called a hot plate. We wanna cook something, which we probably won't. We got a sink, a microwave, and my favorite part about any Airbnb that we have is if there is a washer. It's like, makes me so happy. I love doing laundry when, ever since I, ever since we started going on this trip, this world tour, I'm like, the first thing I wanna do when I go anywhere is laundry, just because our clothes get so dirty so quickly. So very satisfying, I've done two loads. This is the bathroom, pretty spacious. I like that the shower is actually separated from the toilet and it's not one of those wet bathroom situations. And this is our living room. It's so cutely, cutely decorated, cutely furnished. This chair is shockingly very comfortable. We can get a lot of light from this window and actually in the morning, like, seven o'clock this morning there are women uh, selling like vegetables and fish and stuff right here it does get a little bit noisy or it does get a lot noisy actually have a nice size fridge don't mind all the clothes that i have drying the mirror the full body mirror bed and a closet and since we're actually staying here for like almost a week it's actually nice to have a place to put our clothes and not just be living out of our luggage and our like compression bags it's time for lunch i'm gonna eat that sandwich that i bought earlier you want to see what's inside sure i'll show you what's inside we got shredded chicken meat some cilantro uh cucumber i'm not sure she put i know she put a chili sauce but i don't know if she put anything else update on the sandwich that I'm eating. Ooh, it's dry. Usually these sandwiches, these bun mei, they have like mayonnaise or like soy sauce. This has nothing. It's so dry. But um, what they have in here, and I don't know if it's like a northern Hanoi specialty, is um, they have fried onions in there. So it gives it a really nice taste, which I like, which is like saving this sandwich. But I mean, I wish I had like mayo here just to put it in because it's so dry. I don't know if I've been spoiled with just really good Vietnamese food in California where I live growing up, what my mom makes, but yeah, the food today was all just very normal. Like, I'm, I'm gonna eat it because I bought it. Disappointed. Did I even show you my nails? I picked this pretty sparkly silver and i think this is a good idea because once it starts growing out and i pick at it it's going to be less it's going to be harder for people to notice that i've been picking away at my gel nails i slapped some lipstick on and we are going to head out now for dinner we're going to mcdonald's because you know every time i'm, I'm in a new country i have to try out the mcdonald's there it's just tradition some sweet corn for me, a fish sauce, garlic, fried chicken with rice, and this is a lychee tea. There's even lychee in there. Just made it back home. We made a pit stop at Circle K to get some drinks. And I think this is gonna be the end of today's vlog. I like days like this where I don't feel the pressure of having to do like all the touristy stuff and I had time to have a self-care day. Self-care is very important. 
It's also uh, one day after International Women's Day. So this is my International Women's Day gift to myself. Uh, I am going to do a little bit of work and watch Spy Family and sleep like an angel. And yeah, that's that. Thanks for watching. Thank you.